Liam Cook here for Coventry United match day after a fantastic performance from Coventry United. We're here with the uh, standing skipper for the last few minutes, Jamie Coleman. Coleman, you must be absolutely thrilled with a performance like that. Yeah, definitely, mate. Started off really well, moved the ball quickly first half an hour, um, obviously got our goals um, and then slacked off a little bit, really, let them back into the game a little bit. And then obviously nicked a, nicked a fourth. Um, and then um, obviously second half, it's, it's just about looking after what you've got, really. Um, you know. It was it was sloppy, but it was it was job done for us really. And then obviously nice just to nick that fifth with the young lads coming on. I thought they did really well. Well, of course the uh, second half seemed a little bit easier for yourselves in terms of uh, pushing forward. Just seemed to take the foot of the pedal of a big game coming up on Saturday against Coventry Spinks. Defensively though, it seemed a very uh, very potent performance from United. Swifts didn't look that dangerous co coming forward. Was it an easy game for you, or is there no such thing as an easy game? No, it's a bit cliched to say there's not an easy game, but I think you probably I just look out the table and you realise that obviously teams pick up points, you know, some of the top sides dropping points at the weekend. So you've just got to stay switched on and you've got to show them respect as well. They came out second half and had a bit of a go at us and we just had to make sure we switched on, keep a clean sheet and obviously, you know, pick the three points up. So we're, we're all happy with that. As you said, massive game on Saturday against Spinks, and as, as you said as well, United seemed to slack off a little bit towards the end. Was there a, uh, a thought towards Saturday about just conserving some energy for the big game? Um, possibly. Obviously, Gaffer took a few lads off and just give them a bit of a rest. Um, but I think probably being so far ahead, you, you obviously, it's hard. You should say switched on, but you know it's, it's it's tough to then stay really at it. And obviously, the job's done really. So we just look after ourselves you know a few tackles flying in at the end so people just look after themselves do your business you know make sure we we didn't concede and then obviously move on to saturday but there should be quite a few down here again some few tackles flying in no doubt and you know hopefully we can uh, we can pick up the three points against saturday and as, as you say hopefully three points on saturday against spinks we, we beat them last time uh our um our team thinking about doing some special things in training ahead of uh, what's probably going to be the biggest game of the season i mean of course about 800 people here last time or is it going to be just another day at the office on saturday i think we do have to treat it like that to be honest with you we'll probably go in thursday and have a bit of a light one obviously having had a game tonight um but obviously you know we know what's what's going to happen saturday they're going to be at it and, and we need to be at it really it's a lot of passion out there as there was Boxing Day and you know I'm sure the same will go again Saturday so it's, it's who wants it the most really. 